Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you three simple tricks to finding layers in your drawings including figuring out what layer a line or object in an XREF is on as well as how to search for layers regardless of where they may be saved. Let's jump right in, I think you guys are going to enjoy this video. <laughs> All right, so first up, how do you find out what layer an object is on when it's in an XREF? This can come up often, and especially if you're trying to modify or freeze or adjust the display or properties of this layer, you're gonna need to figure out which layer it's on. So you can see here, I've got an XREF in my drawing. This is a typical floor plan I use as a demo because it's pretty similar to what you may encounter in the real world, multiple layers in an XREF and a bunch of variety. So the command is going to be xlist, and by typing in xlist, it's going to ask you to select a nested xref or block, and again, this will work with blocks as well if you need to figure out a layer. And I'm gonna click on this, say, electrical line connecting these lights to this switch. Now, clicking on it is going to pop up this little box here, and it's simply going to give me the information of the nested object, even though it's within that XREF. This saves me time of maybe copying this line into my drawing to figure it out, or opening up that XREF to figure out the layer. You can see here listed that it is on the XREF floor plan Rev A lighting layer. Now this first string here is the name of the file and this last one after that dash is the name of the layer. Now you can also see the settings of this object which it is an arc and its color is set to by layer as well as line type. So this is an important thing to note. This means that we can now change up the line color or the line type by simply changing those layer settings on the lighting layer in the XREF. So hitting OK here, we can now bring up our layer uh, properties or layer manager, and it's opened on my other screen. I'm gonna bring this over. Now this brings us to kind of the second tip, and that is using the search function within the layer manager here. So searching in this top right bar and using wildcards on either side of your search term is gonna allow you to just type in a few letters or a portion of the layer that you're looking for and it's gonna search through all of the layers in your drawing. Now, we know that one had lighting in it, so I'm just typing in L-I-G-H-T and you can see that we've got a few options. Now, right away, we can see this one here looks familiar and it's in the XREF floor plan Rev A drawing and the layer is called lighting. From here, we can now change any of these settings and it's going to change how that looks in our current drawing without affecting the XREF. This is a great way to change up the styling in your particular drawing without affecting, say, a reference that other people are using. You can see changing it to that light cyan blue color has now changed all of my lighting electrical line work into that color. So this tip can be useful for a number of reasons. It saves you a few steps of digging down into XREFs. You can quickly pull that information into your drawing by simply using the XList command. Once you know that information, it's as simple as going to your layer manager here and searching for the layer. From there, you can make any changes, including turning it on and off, freezing it and unfreezing it, or adjusting colors, line types, and line weights. You can also search through this list for any other layer you may be looking for. You can see in our drawing we have quite a few. It's a large drawing and has all of the standard layers in it, which can be quite a few and make it difficult to just simply scroll through and find the one you're looking for. I tend to use this search bar for every drawing and project I'm working on. It speeds up your process and saves you time as you're working through these without having to search or scroll looking for the particular layer you'd like to edit. All right, before we jump into the third and final trick, which I find to be 
the most useful and kind of the coolest one of the three, I wanted to mention my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. If you haven't already checked it out, the link is up above and down below right now. It's packed full of over 10 years of experience. I've put all of my favorite tips, tricks, and workflows into this course. Gonna save you a ton of time and you're gonna learn a lot. Everything from setting up a template and custom layers to fields, xrefs, plotting, export, setting up drawings, creating sheets and layouts. Every tip and trick that I commonly share with new designers and colleagues all packed into a single course and easy to watch through video series that also includes a ton of downloadable example files. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Don't forget to check it out at that link up above and down below right now for a discount for viewers and subscribers like yourself. All right, so for the third trick, we're gonna to wanna to open up the design center, which is the ADC command or control two. This is going to let us search for not only layers, but drawings and um, blocks and more by opening up this window, which I've mentioned in other videos, if you haven't already seen them, this gives us an easy way to bring things into an existing drawing, but it also has a great search function by clicking this search button up here with the little magnifying glass, we are able to search for a variety of things, including layers, but you're also able to search for blocks, view styles, dim styles, entire drawings, drawings and blocks, hatch patterns and hatch files, layouts, line types, you name it, you can search for it. And the nice thing is that this is going to search within drawings regardless of whether you have them open or not. You simply point it in the right direction, whether that's a specific folder or an entire drive, and simply let it search. Now, it may take a little bit if you're searching, like in our example we're going to use here, an entire C drive, but you can simply get it going and work in the background or grab a coffee. Now, for our example here, we're gonna look up layers all over my C drive and you're gonna to wanna to check on search subfolders, and we're gonna look for that lighting layer that we just used. I've typed in lighting. Now, it only needs to contain this if you use the asterisk, or you want the exact layer, you can remove those, and it's going to have to match the lighting layer. We're gonna leave that to narrow things down, and we're just gonna hit search now. Now you can see it's doing this in the background here, down below, it's searching through my C drive. This is gonna take a couple seconds, but it's gonna start pulling up any drawings that have a layer in them called lighting. You can see here that a couple have already come up and it's gonna give you the path. If you shrink this down, it's gonna give you the file size and the object type that it's found, which is an AutoCAD layer, which is what we're looking for exactly. Now, I'm just gonna stop this here since that's gonna take a little while, but you can see how well this works. Now I'm also going to do one where we are gonna just search for the walls layer. This is a common layer in this floor plan drawing here. So in any of the demo projects that I've used, it's going to find those within that drawing. Now, if you're looking for say a layer or in a lot of cases, you're gonna create blocks and then forget what drawing they're in or lose them, or you just don't wanna look for them. So you're in a drawing that you're working on and you remember, oh, I need a light switch or a toilet block coming into here, searching toilet or light switch or bath, whatever you're looking for, and just pointing it in the direction. Maybe you have a folder of blocks that's gonna make it even quicker to search, or in my case, I'm searching an entire C drive. You can see it's still pulling these up. I'm gonna stop it here, but it's found half a dozen or more AutoCAD layers called walls, and it's gonna give you the path to each of those so you can quickly find them and bring them into your drawing. You can even, right click on it and add this layer specifically into your drawing or load it into your content area, which is going to bring that drawing into here. From there that you can then open up this tab here with the plus sign flyout and start bringing things into your drawing by selecting it and selecting what you'd like to insert and right clicking. This works for layers and dim styles and this just simply brings it directly into the drawing that you're working on. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and I hope they save you as much time as they've saved me over the years. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And if you've got any questions or videos you'd like to see in the future, leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to learn.
and thanks for watching. Cheers.